Whether you operate one forklift or thousands, one location or hundreds, the new My Toyota customer portal can help you optimize your operation and material handling equipment. This one-stop, free-to-use platform is designed to help you take control of your information and make smarter decisions, all at the touch of a button. Register and access your data today at my.toyotaforklift.com. That's my.toyotaforklift.com. Today's warehouse needs to keep inventory moving smoothly and quickly. Meet these challenges with on-demand warehouse labeling from Brother Mobile Solutions. Our mobile and industrial printers will help optimize your operations to achieve the speed, reliability, and durability your warehouse needs. With easy integration for existing warehouse technology, convenient portability, and upfront affordability, Brother Mobile Solutions is at your side when it comes to warehouse labeling. Try one for free today by visiting brothermobilesolutions.com slash new warehouse or click the link in the show notes. That's it's brothermobilesolutions.com slash new warehouse to try one for free today. The New Warehouse Podcast, hosted by Kevin Lawton, is your source for insights and ideas from the distribution, transportation, and logistics industry. A new episode every Monday morning brings you the latest from industry experts and thought leaders. And now, here's Kevin. Hey, it's Kevin with the New Warehouse Podcast here at Promat 2023. And I'm joined by Joel Thomas of Siemens. He's the director of their intra logistics uh, side of things. So, so, Joel, welcome to the booth. First off, how are you doing? Fantastic. Thank you, Kevin, for having me. Fantastic. I love it. Day one, fantastic. He's good. All right. So, tell us a little bit about, um, you know, Siemens is here. Um, and, and we've, talk, we've talked to Siemens on the podcast previously as well. But I'm curious from, from your perspective, I think I, I asked this question to Craig yep. as well previously on the podcast. But I want to hear from your perspective. I, I mean, Siemens is, you know, all over the place in the world, right? So, so tell us a little bit about, you know, Siemens at, at ProMat. Like, why is Siemens at ProMat? Okay, so a couple different things about that. Siemens is a very global company, right? Right. In the U.S., we're well known in the industry for from our hardware and software standpoints. Yes. Yeah. And then we have the health and ears business and a lot of other businesses. Mm-hmm. But what they decided to do this past year is they decided to have a focus on intralogistics. Okay. It's going to be one of the more focused verticals in the right. marketplace. And so they brought me on here recently and said, hey, can you help us identify what we need to do to understand mm-hmm. this business and how do we grow this business? Because yeah. when you look at the trends that are happening, like the mega trends, right? Yeah. The digitalization, you see the right. with the chips act, you see all the different things that is bringing manufacturing back into the U.S. What we want to do is we want to see that and see how we can support those customers and client base mm. to get our technologies in front of them. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think that's a great thing too as well. And you know, obviously bringing the, you know, all the power that Siemens has like in, into this space, I think it's a, a really great thing. So tell us, you know, intra logistics, right? Yes. So what is that? What so, is that? So intra logistics by definition yeah. is the movement of material within the four walls, right? Okay. So not right. only do we do that, we have software that we do outside of the four walls, but you mm. know, my my major focus is really how do we automate, you know, certain things within right. the four walls. Yeah. Yeah, and it, and it kind of goes to that that digital Digitization that you're, you're talking about, right? So, so I, I mean, when we look at digitization and, and obviously the movement within the four walls is, is critical, right? I mean, uh, we look at, you know, the, I guess the outside logistics, right? And, and all the movement in between facilities, stores, customers, wherever we need to go. But there's so much happening within the four walls to be able to, to get that box in the door and then get that box out the door, right? Correct, yes. So tell us a little bit about how when we look at the digitization side of things, I mean, I mean, how does that relate to, to our So when you look at it, digitalization, all that means is, if you look at back 20 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. We used to do 2D CAD. Yeah. Then we went to 3D CAD. Right. Then we decided, okay, let's automate, you know, certain aspects and see what we can prove out, right? Right. All we're doing now is with with the cloud capabilities, Mm -hmm. right? You know, because now you're able to process so much data faster. Yeah. How do you actually simulate and emulate a factory before it's ever even built? Mm. You, what you have typically that happens right now is that, you know, you have a scope of material, right? You know, yeah. you have this huge e-commerce boost. What, what happens is, okay, what, what you have sales today might not be your sales in three years, mm. might not be your sales in five years, right? Yeah. And so how do you plan for that? So with digitalization, you're able to simulate a factory, 
take a look at what it what that factory is going to be able to do, mm -hmm. and then once you actually you know let's say that's one one aspect of it, yeah. virtual commissioning. People are wanting to start a fa you know a, a facility faster than ever before, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they can't wait the time to install the components, yeah. then start you know commissioning it, then testing it out. It's going to take a long process, right? Oh, yeah. Well, what if if you're all digitalization, why couldn't you do that programming prior to the start of even putting hardware, you know, and mm -hmm. hardware into that facility? You can prove out that that theory of, you know, my code is good, right? Yeah. And making sure that's all working properly so that you have a shortened lead time. Mm. So now you've taken that digitalization aspect, you know, the, the, the 3D modeling, yeah, yeah. combine that with the virtual commissioning aspect. And then the key thing is, and what I haven't seen in the industry and what Siemens is bringing to the market is, mm. how do we take that data that's actually happening in your real world facility, yeah. bringing it back into our algorithms, right? Mm. Running simulations and saying, you know what? This is what you are gonna have issues in the future. So now uh, you have this okay. closed loop digital twin of you know understanding, well, this is what I created at the factory now. Yeah. This is what I simulated and what's supposed to happen today. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna do this three years and you're seeing your growth, well, these are gonna be your bottlenecks. Let's figure out where to address those now or in, mm -hmm. you know, in, okay. uh, sooner rather than later yeah. so that you don't run into those roadblocks and have issues with expanding your business. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great thing because uh, you know you look at you know oftentimes like you, you put a project in place and then and then like you said like three years from now you're not necessarily sure what might, what might happen right and then you have, you run into that issue then and now it's like oh do you have to redo everything you did or maybe you have to do a new setup whatever the case is so being able to to see that beforehand I think is is really critical to to getting the right solution in place in, in the beginning right yes so tell us a little bit about kind of how. How, like, if a, a company is coming to Promat, like, this year, right, and, and they're, you know, and I'm sure there's there's tons of companies that are coming and they're looking to, you know, get into automation or expand on their automation. I mean, why should they kind of consider working with Siemens and, and kind of utilizing, like you're saying, these, these simulations to be able to, to really understand, like, in what direction should they go? So I think, I think that's a very good question. Yeah. And the reason I say that is, you know, what I have seen in the industry, and understand, mm -hmm. we sell components and software solutions, right? Yeah. You know, the OEMs are the ones that actually integrate the projects together. Mm -hmm. So when we start partnering with these guys, what I'm what I'm seeing is there's multitude of softwares that are out there right now. Yeah. But there's not one true ecosystem that actually mm -hmm. goes from the beginning to the end. Yeah. So you know, that end-to-end, -end, you know, solution. And that is the difference that Siemens brings to the market is because mm. if if you have all these stagnant or you know let's call it individual programs, right. how do you combine all of them to create this uh, this ecosystem that gives you that closed loop digital tour? Yeah, you can't. Mm. And that's where you know with Siemens, you know with the different companies that we have purchased over the years, mm -hmm. with all the things that we have done in this industry, we have an end to end solution that actually provides that and does that. I don't and I don't see anyone really providing a closed loop digital mm. twin or even talking about that at this time. Step, step, step. Do you know how many steps your warehouse workers are taking a day? When your workers are walking, you're losing money. Endless trips to the printer or computer add up fast. Newcastle's mobile industrial carts with integrated power eliminate the walking to stationary printers and computers, keeping workers focused on high value tasks. Often, doubling their output. Thousands of powered cart installations, including ones at the new warehouse's own micro fulfillment center and in my previous jobs, prove that Newcastle customers get more done and save money. To learn more, head to newcastlesys.com. That's newcastlesys.com. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's really interesting and uh, you threw in there the, the digital twin as well. So I want to, I want to touch on that a little bit. I mean, but I think the, what you're, what you're saying and being able to give you that, that end to end, I mean, I think is, is so important because I, I think a lot of people, especially like, you know, we look at smaller, medium sized businesses that are, you know, they're realizing like, okay, like we need to get some automation in order to, to keep up with everything going on with, with labor and, you know, people not, you know, necessarily wanting to work in, in warehouses, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, there's more attractive things to do, I guess. But I think warehouses are sexy, you know, as my shirt says. But, yes. uh, so, <laughs> uh, you know, I love this business. So, you know, it's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta, you know, but people, you know, wanting to do, you know, pick all day long and all these things, you know, it's, it's getting, it's getting smaller, the pool of people that want to do that right so so we obviously you know 
are at a point where businesses are, are realizing like, okay, yes, we, we need to be automated. And so it's great that you're able to give them that, that end-to-end. So talk to us a little bit about the, the digital twin side that you, you mentioned in there and, and yeah. how that kind of works and, and how that gets kind of looped into this simulation that you guys are doing. So I, I want to kind of break down your question a couple of different ways, you know, sure. because yeah. one thing that you said is you, you factored in the smaller customers, right? Mm-hmm. That potential out there. Right. Because maybe they're challenged with what, where do I start? What do I do? Exactly. Right. Yeah. And then am I, you know, can I go to a bigger company and, and ask them to automate my facility because, mm-hmm. you know, is it going to cost me too much? Right. Yeah. But my question is, wouldn't you want to have a simulation of what you can actually do for your building? Mm. Make sure the throughput matches your reality of what it is going on with your business. Yeah. Instead of actually cutting a check for what could be maybe issues. Yeah. Maybe you know you have more bandwidth than you really need, mm. and you only build to what you actually really signed up for. Right. And that is what you know the digital twin capability does. It's really a lookalike of your factory mm. that you can put on virtual virtual reality goggles and yeah. actually walk through the facility. You can actually simulate it. You know, when you come to our booth, you'll see the simulation. Yeah. We have our own CAD software. We bring the electrical, the mechanical. We talk about sustainability. Mm. What is the energy consumption that you're going to need? Right. Is it a greenfield versus a brownfield site? Right. If it's a greenfield site, well, what do you need to tell your power supply company that how much actual mm. power you need for your facility? Yeah. Because that's one of the hardest things to calculate. And because we have that end-to-end where we can combine the electrical, the mechanical, the the PLC, the logic, and everything right. together, you're able to tell what actually your utilization is, what your throughput is going to be, mm. everything from the get-go. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's a huge thing. And, and you, I mean, you touched on some things there that, you know, I think that people... Probably, you know, if we're talking about these small and medium-sized businesses that are just trying to get into automation, probably are not considering at all, right? So, so it's interesting you touched on the electrical consumption as well. And I, I'm curious, you know, from what you, what you've seen through your work with, with Siemens and in the warehousing industry. I mean, you know, as we're you know adding more things that are connected and more moving things in, in our warehouses. I mean, how are companies kind of addressing some of those those higher electrical consumptions now as they start to add more electrical components in? So you know, you know, you you probably heard of like higher efficiency motors, right. you know, drives, yeah. right? You know, part of Siemens' pledge is that you know we want to be net carbon zero by a certain date, right? And mm. I believe it's 2030. Yeah. And you know, there's other companies out there that are also trying to go based on that, right. you know, based on those conditions. And you know, sustainability is very important, mm. but it's also optimization. You know, when you look at when you look at a system, I've seen systems where we've oversized components right. so that it's just you know all of the safety factor is yeah. fudged on top of the other, yeah. and what you see is this you know overabundance of what you you know what you really need mm. versus what we're actually doing right now. Right. And so, an optimization of the system is also one of the things that you get with this digital twin mm. because if you only need let's call it 10 newton meters of torque, yeah. why are you putting on a 50 newton meter gear motor, right? Mm. And so it's proper sizing, proper utilization, making sure you have the right components so you don't have to use a five horsepower drive, you know, yeah. versus a, a one horsepower drive. Okay. And it's just these different types of aspects that you see from energy efficiency, um, you know, what type of conveyor systems they do, do you want to do? All these things interplay together. Mm. And, and that's the thing that we want to understand is, okay, can we do region? Yeah. If, we're, if we have high dynamic, you know, instead of using a brake resistor that, you know, dissipates energy, can we use something that can actually transmit the, the power back into the main so then it can be reused somewhere else? Hmm. So these are all different things that, that, that we're actually doing to make sure that we can provide energy efficient solutions. Yeah, I think it's a really interesting and, and I think the fact that you guys are able to, to encompass all that and, in, in, you know, what you're, you're bringing to the to market and being able to allow people to to see all, all of these different aspects of it, I, I think is a, is a huge thing. And I, I think, it, you know, it's going to help a lot of companies, you know, understand where direction they really need to go into and also understand, like, some of the things that they probably would, would miss originally, like we talked about earlier, right? So, yeah. so really interesting stuff with you, Joel, and I, I want to thank you for, for coming by the booth and, and talking to us about about Siemens, if people want to learn more about the intralogistics side of Siemens, how can they do that? Yeah, you can go to our website, and under industry, you'll see material handling or intralogistics, mm-hmm. or please buy, stop by our booth. We're happily involved in MHI, so we're, we're always advertising, ready to talk. You know, you always yeah. please look at me on LinkedIn and ask me questions. I'm, I'm always willing to answer questions there as well. All right, great. And we'll definitely put all that information at thenewhouse.com as well. So, Joel, thank you very much for stopping by here on day one been listening to the new warehouse podcast with kevin latte subscribe and check us out online at the new warehouse.com
Thank you for listening to this episode. If you want more content from the new warehouse, check out our new video series called All Hands on LinkedIn. Just search for the new warehouse on LinkedIn and follow along.